Hello dear friends, Fisher here. Uh, we continue with our story, The Power of the Spirit, uh, story 63, part B, and Bruno continuously to talk to Lilo's mom and explain to her about the truth of being a parent. And Bruno said, the truth of it is that the parents just make themselves available to help a spiritual being to a body. While it is small, it must be sheltered and protected by its parents, for that is what they owe to life and so to God. And you too, when your own body was still that of a child, live under the shelter of your parents. Nevertheless, a human being, no matter what the relationship, is never somebody else's private property. From this true and divine perspective, terms such like such as my husband, my wife, my child, to the extent that they suggest a claim to ownership, are fundamentally wrong. A harmonious life together should always follow from a voluntary basis of free choice, so that the one can respect and honor each the other without feeling themselves constrained. It is only then that all tension in a family will be resolved, and therefore set your daughter free in every respect, and then you too will be able to live to see the future in emotional and bodily health. Uh, here, um, dear friends, Bruno further explain that what we owe to life and then when we are little and we protect it by our parents and as same as our parents would protect it protected by their parents when they were little so that's what our parents own to life and then that's what they owe to God and by no means nobody is nobody's private properties we do not own our children we do not own our partners we do not own our parents when time comes, it has to let go, like the animals. In the animal kingdom, you see the birds, and then the parents will have the baby, and then when the baby grew up, it flew away. And then the baby might come back and live with them, and that's their choice. But the parents should not hold the baby there as their own private property and then not allowing their children to grow. Many times there's how many man child these days. I was born in China. I know the only child brings lots of pressures. Lots of pressure to the parents. And then they treasure the children too much, they will not let go. I know my mom's like that. She has um, uh, cousins and then they like that too. They only have one precious child, girl or boy, and then they will not let them go. Even though when they get married, and then my mom cousin still telling her son what you do, even though her son's 35 years old, and then they live together. So, to extend, and this kind of children never become independent, and then they remain children always. They're not adult because they didn't have the freedom. And Bruno always stressed this is fundamentally wrong from a divine perspective that somebody's always claim uh, it's my husband, my wife, my children. And this kind of ideology, this kind of ownership is fundamentally wrong. It's again God's wish. And then we're here to help our children grow. We are more than our parents to them. We are like a friends. You don't hold your friends back forever. One day, the parents will die, and then the children have to live their life themselves. Uh, so it's always good. Your children will learn your skills, and then they become independent, and then live a very good and prosperous life by themselves. And also Bruno stress about a, a harmonious life together. 
and should always follow from voluntary basis free choice. It is very important, dear friends. God has given us the free, free will. So with our free will, we choose either good or bad. And then out of the free choice, and then we can respect and honor each other. And then without feeling constrained, without feeling being guilty, or being responsibly bound to each other, but with love, we treat each other with love. If we only treat each other with responsibility, and I see my parents. Especially my mom, she feels quite burdens、uh, when she's looking after her her dad, her mom and dad, when they are old and they are sick, and also my mom's brother. They compelled by the cultural responsibility to look after parents, and then deep down, my mom always said I felt mentally tired, and then of course, like、uh, every day, same responsibility. And every day, same thing. You go th- go through the same day. Of course, you're gonna feel mentally tired. That's why. Always do things as much as you can, out of love. Don't be compelled. By any, so-called, cultural or. Whatsoever responsibilities you look after your parents because you love them. I know it is hard job, dear friends, and but you have your choice. And at the time when we set our children free, and then we'll be free ourselves too. Give, and we receive, dear friends. I hope you have a good day, and God bless.